Salutations queens and kings and welcome back to another QKJJ review of P Valley. I'm Queen Jam. King Jerry in the house. Of course as always and we're going to be reviewing season one episode 105 Belly. All right let's jump right into it. This episode was very exciting. We mm -hmm. actually were um I actually started off very exciting where it continued from the last episode. We see Mercedes excuse me mississippi was actually being recorded that night when she was doing her performance to um to take over for mercedes because mercedes ended up getting locked up and what did uncle clifford what did uncle clifford said the show must go on right yeah the show must go on so we're introduced to that mercedes yes. mississippi ends up getting um recorded and we see that she's being recorded and we're also introduced to a divorcee that is in the club enjoying her time that night and she's pretty much saying like i'm doing all my stack this night mm -hmm. and um she's just living it up enjoying herself she's you know throwing different stacks she's spending all of her divorce settlement so the next scene pretty much see her enjoying um different lap dance from different girls just laughing it up mm -hmm. and then right after that we actually see that um she's just getting a lap dance from mercedes and gidget mm -hmm. and at one point gidget at one point she ends up just like starting to cry because she realizes like she's pretty much drunk like she's drunk all the way mm -hmm. can't even stay awake and pretty much just starts crying and realizing like what has actually happened like she's divorced now and she can't believe that her husband really left her mm. so that's pretty much what ends up happening she ends up falling asleep mercedes and gidget looks over at all the money that she has over there and mercedes was like let's get this back yeah okay yeah boom so um right after that the next scene is um continuing on from uncle clifford and mm -hmm. little murder's night they actually wake up inside of the paint mm -hmm. and um when it's actually interesting because when uncle clifford wakes up inside the pink he starts to hear someone making a noise and like singing or something so then he ends up um finding and searching for the divorcee the divorcee is laying there in the pink knocked out mm -hmm. just drunk singing mm -hmm. And that's when um, Uncle Clifford pretty much is like, hey, get up. You need to get on out of the paint. Mm -hmm. So he kicks the, uh, the divorcee out of the paint. And um, that's when Uncle Clifford sees everyone standing outside. He's like, oh, my goodness, what's going on? Like, why is everybody standing outside? And they're pretty much, um, and he's starting to panic. Like, oh, my God, what happened to Mercedes? Because they still haven't found out what happened to Mercedes. He's like, right. oh, Mercedes, is she dead? Is she dead? Don't tell me she dead. Mm -hmm. um, Uncle Clifford en ends up um, turning around. And he's like, so what's going on? They're mm -hmm. like, hey, there is a, a foreclosure notice on their door. Right. And it's pretty much giving him 14 days to evacuate the place. Um, the actual building is going to go on auction. So Was it a special ordinance that was made for him? No, that it was another by, by special, the... special ordinance, though. Ooh, mm -hmm. man. Yes, but either way, he was just very disappointed that they had posted that on um, the front of the note, or the exactly. front of the door. 14 days is not a lot of time to come up with that amount of money. Yes. Also, so oh, okay, sorry. It's like in the middle of what were we, what were we about to say? We about to say? Oh no! In the, in the midst of trying to collect the money, we see a lot of uh, the actual the actual employees. They're kind of shuffling to see how they're going to make it through. You get a lot of interaction actually mm -hmm. between the other uh the staffers that are there the the, uh, the other artists that are it's it's, it's almost like a two-sided coin they're still happy to be there at the pink but at the same time they're upset that uncle clifford did not give them a forewarning about what was going to happen yeah they're very shocked about the notice yeah. and you know as anyone can be your mm -hmm. job and you pull up and you see that the status is going to be changing soon right. right either way Mississippi ends up getting excited um, randomly in the middle of all of them sitting outside and then they're and then one of the girls is like why are you so excited and she's like well I actually see that my video went viral mm. and it had something like 10,000 views or something like that so far right. so she was really really excited about that which was from that exact night shout out to Mississippi like Clifford said the, the, the night must go on he was actually about to go up there himself yep but mississippi stood up i'm not sure what the other dancer's name is that that loves the wings yeah okay but she wasn't ready that night mm -hmm. it's only for those that are ready 
so the next thing you pretty much see is you see mercedes in the jail and she's getting booked in and there is a clip playing on the news showing that the headline shows on the news exotic pastor getting attacked by exotic dancer which they should have said pastor getting assaulted by her daughter exotic dog and not even pastor like people they just didn't tell the backstory they mm -hmm. they made sure it's all about the headline with news thank you always have to read into things thank you for saying that it it all it said was pastor attacked by exotic dancer so anyway, that was a messed up headline that they were using for her so the next thing you see is autumn she's going back to her scamming situation well king pretty much said she's scammer Oh, I already know. I don't know what's going on. I'm mm. just an audience member trying to figure out how right. she's transferring this money. Ready? No. Yes, I'm just trying to figure out pretty much how she's transferring this money. Yes. So she's going back trying to transfer this money again, wire transfer. And she finds out from the teller there that their policy has recently changed. Mm -hmm. And she's no longer able to transfer, to continuously doing these transfers so frequently. And Autumn pretty much just corrects her and it's like, why are, why has the policy changed? You are mm -hmm. the ones that allow $90,000 transfers 9, up, <clears throat> yes, transfers under $9,000 to go through. Yes. And for unlimited. Right. And she was like, well, the policy has changed. We tried to make that different for people who are actually affected by the flood. But ever since then, our policy has changed. We can't do it anymore. Uh -huh. She looked through and she said, I can obviously see that um, your, your family, family has been. Go ahead. Ooh, generous with yeah. those transfers with any. With actually within a month's time, when you get to about eighty eighty three thousand, I think she was tipping over almost close to she was shy away from a hundred thousand dollars. That says a lot, especially on that opposite yeah, end of the business. Uh, just shy, me, just shy of a hundred thousand. She was at eighty grand. over eighty three thousand dollars that had already been transferred um, within a month month's period. So that's when um, Autumn pretty much is just like, okay, I guess I'm just going to have to figure something else out. She doesn't say that, but either way, she is interrupted by the clerk yeah. looking behind her. And the clerk is panicking. She's like, oh, my goodness. And when Autumn turns around, you <laughs> see the actual divorce aide that we met that I said was too drunk. And drunk driving, boy. Fell asleep in the daggone pink, woke oh. up in the floor, on the oh floor, goodness. and uh, Uncle Clifford kicked her out. She drive, is know. driving and running from the cops, and she almost crashes into a telex. But she doesn't? Doesn't. The funniest part was that when she almost crashed into the counter she said? where Autumn and uh, the clerk was standing what at. the clerk said? The clerk said, oh my God, Jesus, take the wheel. Right when she said, Jesus, take the wheel, the car halts. And then the girl like backs up, reverses, and start, dri start driving the other way. That was hilarious. No one here can drive, yo. That Don't was hang over and drive, because obviously that's what happened. Mm -hmm. Yes, but either way, that's um the next part that you see is that the divorcee has actually gotten... um. Was it called arrested in the same police station as Mercedes? She got booked in, and going back to that, unfortunately, you have a separation between both sexes within that jail cell. Very small. He had men on one side, women on the other. It's very compact. But when Mercedes sees that her mama is in the same cell with her, please let them yeah, know what she happened. Yeah, she out. She let out this Klingon war cry. <laughs> she said, "Ah." and just start attacking her mom well she said her mom ran into her fist so we're gonna leave go. it at that okay right, right, right um go ahead i will i will also notate that it was very quick reaction with the individuals that were in that same jail cell instead of the actual co's that were supposed to be patrolling make sure everybody was safe but again you all can be the judge about how Mercedes responded to her mom. How would you feel if someone stole about, I think, what'd she say, about 20 sacks her mom stole from her plus dad? Mm -hmm. Just a little bit more. So, you know, that's completely up to you on how you judge that. And she stole the building. Yes. Oh, man, that's crazy. She yeah. stole the building from her. Yes. Yeah, so, so that is pretty, pretty much where King King was like, "Where's her mom at?" And I was like, "Asked and answered." Oh man! Immediately, we found out where her mom was. It's crazy. Um, the next thing we see that there's this mysterious guy by the name of Montavious who is actually looking for his lost daughter. Mm. 
looking for his lost daughter and um she's been she, i haven't seen her since the flood that's pretty much what he tells the um the cop at the police the station deputy whatever yeah. at the police station pretty mm. much just says like hey i haven't seen my daughter since the flood and i need to figure out what happened to her just yep. let me know yes and um you can tell that his hands are shaking they made sure to point that out i don't know why but um hope you know we'll see later on and um that's also where we see that clifford goes to um goes to the police station makes a visit and pretty much asks them like what's going on with this foreclosure notice because yeah. you and i you sheriff and i <laughs> uncle clifford have a um an, an agreement set up mm. to where i pay you mm -hmm. and then you let certain things that happen at the pink slide underneath of the table right. and or you keep me abreast to different things that's happened right and he was just like telling uncle clifford like this is pretty much out of my hands at this point right and we also have someone from your um someone who was at your establishment last night who was drinking and driving and we have, we have two of your girls that's what he said we have oh. two of them oh mm -hmm. that's not good news at all mm -hmm. but what happens yeah she uncle clifford demands that he sees mercedes aha he's like i need to see mercedes and they end up um they ended up she ended up saying like okay you can go ahead and see mercedes right she goes back to see mercedes and she just let mercedes know like i'm gonna do my best to get you out of here mercedes mm -hmm. like don't worry about me you need to dig the pink up out of what it's going through which is 53 55 55, 55 stacks, Woo! Yes. man gotta pay that back but mm -hmm. luckily for uh, uh lucky for autumn hopefully autumn got a little bit of that money left over from what she's been scamming who knows does autumn have that money oh, why do you keep dropping the bombs i think it's anyway <laughs> i think it's obvious because she needed the id and then this is someone that's got you tied into everything anyway i didn't get to the other drop uh, the, the 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 drop of the bomb i didn't get to that one yet. so mm -hmm. Uncle Clifford tells Mercedes about the foreclosure mm -hmm. and um, you know that's pretty much where she's like no don't worry about me you have to dig um, the pink out yeah. and the mom and he pretty much says like, I can't believe that they have you in here in the same cell with your mom and the mom tries to get up and approach Uncle Clifford and Uncle Clifford pretty much was like you uh, well the mom said you best keep your name out of my mouth Uncle Clifford said you best not what you say something like that Something like that. Say her name again, pretty much. You best not come for me unless, unless I, I send, for, send you. for you. And said her name again. Patrice, I believe. Yes. Disrespectful. Yes, yes. If anyone knows you call your, your black mom by her first name, she's going to tear your head off. Yes. And either way, um, that's, Uncle Clifford walks away and Mercedes is pretty much like, that woman over there has done more for me than you ever have done for me. And that's when Mercedes' mom feels disrespected. Like, how can you say that that thing did more for you than I've done in all these years? That person made you a pimp. And Mercedes was like, you want to talk about pimps? Then we could talk about how you've been pimping me ever since I was younger. Mm. Her mom allegedly, mm. when Mercedes lets us know that she had a gas bill and a dealer's card in her name by the time that she was three. Mm. So like we talked about last time, Mercedes getting pimped by two people, her mom and Uncle Clifford. I wonder what her credit score is like. Oh my goodness. Mm. Mercedes ends up finally getting a chance to make her first phone call. Yes. She calls Gidget yes. and says, Gidget, like, I need you to come get me out of here. Yes. Gidget is pretty much like, I, what are we supposed to do? Where are we supposed to find this money? And Mercedes is like, Gidget, come on. Like, you know that I would do this for y'all. You need to figure out a way to make it happen. Mm. And that's pretty much when uh, Gidget ends up hanging up the phone. Well, not hanging up the phone. The phone call ends, of course. And um, Mercedes is just just sat, sitting there, like, wondering, like, what's going to happen with her, whether she's going to get picked up or not. Now, does she get picked up? Does her friends come through for her? I know who did come through for whom. Somebody got their music played. And that's going to come a little bit later, y'all. The unfortunate part about it all is you did see a transformation that happened within that jail cell. So Patrice did give a very, very um, 
little solid point for her while they were both uh, locked up. Her Mercedes. Forgive those who trespass against us. Okay. A very famous Bible verse. Yeah, she trying to get yeah. Mercedes to forgive her. No. Uh, you don't think so? She got the church though, y'all. Got the church. Mercedes lets her mom know, like, I ain't got time for all that. Okay, you took my money that I was trying to get Terika back with. But it's going to the and, church. And Patrice is pretty much like, I'm not even, ha I don't even worry about Terika. Terika is that woman's child. She's Shell's child. And you need to not even worry about Terika anymore. Because at the end of the day, <laughs> at the end of the day, um, the court is not going to snatch up that girl from a nice house that she's living in to come mm. and live with you and your unstable situation. Mm. And that's pretty much where the um, jail cell really gets to see that dynamic of how her mom is really not in her corner when it comes to um, seeing her granddaughter, actually, yes. at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. Which yes, and she's just hitting Mercedes with a lot of low blows. She's like, you better be happy that um, that woman is able to put up with that man's fidelity. Mm. Because from what we were hinted to is that the man that Mercedes, the father, mm -hmm. is not here any longer with us. Right, That's right, That's what right. we're getting from. So the stepmom has taken over. Mm-hmm. Yep. Next scene, we actually see that the girls have wrangled together. Gidget got the girls together to try and come build Mercedes out. Excuse us because our um, AC just turned Don't on. worry about that. Yes, don't worry about that. But it just, you know, don't worry sound about that. purposes. Yes. But um, we see that Gidget has wrangled all the girls together and they're calling, trying, they're coming to try and bail Mercedes out. Right. The clerk is mad disrespectful. Mm hmm. Just saying disrespectful things like how y'all gonna afford it and um, y'all could pay with your, with, you can pay with yourself, offering yourself up if you don't have the money. And then also on mm. top of that, they were saying like it's not just going to be two thousand dollars. It's going to be five something, mm -hmm. a little extra on the five. Yes, that's crazy. Yo. Because of all of the uh, different, all the different. I don't even think they're, he said court fees, but he was saying like moving violations and different tickets that she already had. Yes, yes indeed. Yeah, so that was very disappointing as well. And um, they pretty much ended up just walking out because. The girls were like, we can't do that. We were here coming here to pay the two stacks, but we can't do everything else. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. yep, yep. Trying to play her full, full out. Yes, exactly. Now, we do start to get to a little bit of a, a, of a difference when it comes to the atmosphere inside of that jail. Yeah, it got right. very nasty inside of there, especially when it came to the differences of sex. But we did get a chance to see a moving period where the mom actually took over the atmosphere of the jail cell from the prior. Everybody was feeling Mercedes and everything like yeah, that. Every, woo. Once people started to hear what was going on with the two, they were um, on Mercedes side majority because they were like, how could you mom like take Mercedes out, take advantage of Mercedes and take her money mm -hmm. that she was going to use and try and be in that girl's life. Mm -hmm. And then they were like, and then you're trying to start some church like you don't, can you even preach? And right after they said, can you even preach? That's when she started like doing her little sermon getting everybody riled up going to Mercedes saying I got down on my knees and you know don't you try and degrade me because I've been on my knees so you didn't have to be on your knees great Mercedes walks over and she asks Mercedes like can you ever forgive me and she's down on her dad on knees Mercedes leans in and I was like either she gonna pop this lady yeah. or she's gonna you know like say so something true. like yeah or just say like I forgive you and I was like I don't think she's gonna forgive her or whatever she leans over to her and she pretty much says, Mom, you're dead to me. And that's perfect timing because she had actually, someone had just posted bail for her. Boom. So she gets up, walks out, goes um, outside the jail cell and sees Autumn is there waiting for her. Ooh, Autumn, Autumn, Autumn coming through, y'all. Coming mm -hmm. through. I don't know. I don't even know who Autumn is at the end of the day, but she's coming through. Mm-hmm. And her, that mysterious, mysterious figure that's following her, she's coming through. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes. Yeah. Autumn de de definitely no. uh, bails her out, and she ends up just hanging, hanging out with Autumn for the rest of the night. Because when she gets in the car with Autumn, she asks Autumn like, "Where's Gidget and everybody else?" She was yep. like, "Not here." Not here. 
And once they get in the car, um, Mercedes ends up breaking down. And yep. she was just like, where do I, Autumn was like, where do I take you? And she, and Mercedes said, anywhere but here. Yep. They end up just chilling out at Autumn's house for the rest of the night. That's where Autumn actually lets Mercedes know, like, um, this is what happened to me. These are why I've had, like, some of those traumatic experiences. Yep. And letting her know, like, what happened to her and her daughter. Yep. And um, that's when Mercedes, like, really looks at her differently. Like, dang, that's crazy. Right. Mercedes also lets her know, like, I'm going to pay you back that money that you paid for me to get out. You, you worry about it. Mm-hmm. Autumn said, you ain't got to worry about that. that. There's, what she say? There's more where that came from. More where that came from. But, look, the person that I'm actually interested in, and to seeing the full frontal of the business when it comes to Uncle Clever, what are you gonna do? Yes. Uh, not only with the ordinance that's been put in place to shut down the business, but the debt that you've collected and the young ladies there are actually waiting on to see if you're gonna able to sustain this business. Right. You already know from the uh, first black mayor, Chuck Lisa, he allowed, he allowed the individual that's going to take over the land to yes. completely degrade him in front of his face but not and only that yeah I, I was going to say we're getting right into that because that's the next thing where they meet up with they meet up in the uh barber shop hey. which is that community hub they're sitting there hey. getting their uh haircut for an event that they're going to later that night hey. and um that's actually where they're sitting there um the mayor chuck lisa he's letting andre he's waiting for Andre to get his yep. uh, hair braided yep. not hair braided haircut, haircut. Yep. and Eloise is there as well mm -hmm. that's actually when um shout out to Eloise man. yes they were having like some conversation in there either way Uncle Clifford walks in takes advantage of the situation his his energy was everything when Uncle Clifford walked in because mm -hmm. um people were kind of much just like what is he doing here Uncle Clifford was like I don't care I'm here to handle business and moving on with my life. Right. <laughs> Uncle Clifford sat down, handled his business, tried to talk to the mayor, and was just like, so what we're going to do about this, um, the land, the land you're trying to acquire, the land for the casino, right. like pink and foreclosure and all that stuff. Right. And, um, and the mayor pretty much just like, nothing I can do with you. It's already going to be taken over. I'm not worried about you. It's people like you that need to be eliminated anyway. Uncle mm -hmm. Clifford was like, oh, okay. So I feel like, that's also going to be something I could let the barber here know as well that you're offering him um, a lot less uh, versus what you're offering the white people up the street. Mm. And that's where um, he was actually shown. He was um, the mayor asked Cliff, Uncle Clifford, like, how do you even know this? And he was like, I got this information right here. And Uncle Clifford pulls out um, a land appraisal chart. And he's like, that is where I got it from. It's a land appraisal chart. Don't worry about where I got it from. Mm. And the next thing we see is pretty much just um, Uncle, not Uncle, the Godfather, which is Andre and his, uh, the mayor, Chuck Elisa. Mm -hmm. Eloise is driving. They're riding in a car. And the mayor's pretty much asking Andre, like, how did... Uncle Clifford become privy to this information. Mm. And that's when Andre's pretty much like, oh, I may have just dropped it in P Valley somewhere. And the mayor's like, well, I, you know, lost a lot of things, but never, you know, some paperwork in Cooch and da da da. Mm. It was just, the mayor was pretty much just heated with Andre. Like, you need to clean this up because you were making me look bad. Which and he, he said, honestly already, made himself look bad. He already did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You already made yourself look bad, brother. Mm -hmm. Be honest with you. Mm -hmm. He said, I'm talking about I may have left it now. At the end of the day, the mayor was just like, I need you to clean this up. I'm already here going to this uh, crackers ball for this casino. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and, you know, get it done. Mm -hmm. So the next thing we see is um, Lil Murder standing on top of uh, DJ Never Scared's um, platform and just enjoying himself. He rapping along with his music as it's getting played. He throwing stacks, really enjoying himself. <laughs> and um, you can see Mississippi just like enjoying herself. She's racking up money because it seems like they have also, they have kind of showed like how she just easily went in and took Mercedes place. Yep. You know, without anyone questioning it, because she's raking in all of the money that she's supposed to be raking in. A lot of it. Mm hmm. A lot of it. Exactly. So, um, then after that, uh, we actually see LaMarcus, which is how, who we find out is, uh, the, who we find out is Lil Murder. Mm hmm. 
He goes in the back and pretty much knocking on Uncle Clifford's door and Uncle Clifford lets him in and they start having this conversation and Uncle Clifford is like, Lil Murder. He's like, no, my name is LaMarcus, okay? My name is LaMarcus. I want to take care of you. And Uncle Clifford kind of just like laughs at him like, yeah, okay, you can't take care of me. Mm. <laughs> and um, either way, they start making out and then we see Mercedes is um, in the dressing room with all the girls. And she's just so excited about her video going viral. It's going from 10,000 views to over 200,000, I believe. And she was just like, girl, this joint's getting like 10,000 views every such and such amount of minutes and all excited. There's one girl there that's like, okay, you know, the blow up is looking good on you. There's other people there that are very supportive. And um, you just definitely see that different dynamic. And that's when all of the chaos is interrupted by... Uh, one of the the vendor coming in and saying hey uh, Mississippi the your baby daddy I guess is out there with the baby mm. so she goes out there to get the baby mm. goes out there and gets the baby and just lets her uh diamond is upset too yeah diamond is upset they try to <laughs> they try and uh like pace that like he's not upset but he's definitely there and can hear everything's upset. going on he's very upset yes this and... is the <laughs> girl you've been letting beat on you like this is the guy that I done told you that I would take know, care of, you know, yeah, yeah. So either way, that's ended up what happened. That's um what they said. What um you know what happened? She goes out to get the baby, and um either way, her husband is just like, hey, I see that you're looking really nice, and you know I saw your video and everything. Mm -hmm. So hopefully he doesn't end up hurting her because they kind of like pray. They kind of. Um, force kind of did like a little foreshadow to that. Mm. Like maybe she'll end up getting hurt because the boyfriend, or her, you know, baby daddy, or whatever, ends up mm. seeing it. After that, Mississippi is like rushing back inside of the pink, and then that's when Mississippi gets a glimpse. She can't get inside of the door, so she's like looking inside the window, see if she can knock and let someone or ask Uncle Clifford to let her in. And turns out that she sees Little Murder and um, Uncle Clifford making out. And they both are like, oh my goodness, like she saw, she saw, and Uncle, and um, she eventually like goes inside the door because someone's coming out. And um, Uncle Clifford is like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna go talk to her. It's gonna be fine, be fine. And Lil Murder was like, nah, it's good. I'm gonna go, oh, excuse me. What would he say his name was? LaShawn. Keyshawn. No. What did he say his name was? I'm not sure. LaMarcus. Mar yes, yeah, so LaMarcus said, no, Lil I'm gonna Murder. go take Lil care of her. Yes. Okay, <laughs> That make, yeah. yeah, that does make that sense. L M, yeah. Yeah. But that's pretty much he just let Uncle Clifford like, no, I'm gonna go talk to her. Uncle Clifford was kinda of like, Oh, okay. You try you trying to take care of me, allegedly. Well mm -hmm. so that is actually the next scene that we pretty much see is just Mercedes speaking with Autumn and trying to figure out like how she is going to even though Autumn had given her money and let her know that I could give you the 10 stacks that you need. Now, that was a part that we skipped out on as well. Autumn actually offers to give Mercedes the stacks that she needs for her gym. And Mercedes is just like, what do I have to do to pretty much, what do I have to do to pay you back? And Autumn was just letting her know, like, you don't have to pay me back in money. You just have to make these runs for me for the transfer. So we actually see that Mercedes is fine with not fine with but we see that she's going through the process and learning the steps that autumn is taking to go and get these transfers because they're both on the computer and she's setting up mercedes uh name to go and pick up the transfer she's gonna act like like she wasn't scamming you just gonna seriously I, babe, like to these people i like don't know scamming. what they're doing she was fine <laughs> with scamming with her I don't with know what putting they're her doing. name. She said she even said don't even put my real name up there. That's exactly what she I said. I don't know what they're doing. I'm reporting <laughs> what I see. You serious right now? I'm reporting what you I see. You serious saw. right now? Mercedes said don't, I need, don't put women. my real name on there. She was oh that's your real name. Mercedes is your real. She Autumn was even shocked that Mercedes was her real name. That's the funny part. She was shocked. She said, no, girl. Right. She was like, no, girl. I'm going to have to use my uh, stripper name. And then she put Crystal. She put Crystal something. Okay. Well, and uh, the only reason why I remember the Crystal's part was because of the simple fact that there was a, um, after she puts in her name and sets up the transfer for, uh, for uh, Mercedes, after Autumn sets up the transfer and everything for Mercedes, 
you get a zoom out and there's like a different scene where you actually see Montavious, the mysterious guy that we saw asking um, about his daughter at the sheriff's station earlier. We get a picture of him and he's sitting there drinking from a crystals cup. And Mercedes said that the way you choose a like false name or a fake name, it is the last thing that you ate and the last thing that you wore. So that's pretty much what she um, what she put down. She put crystal something. I couldn't really remember. And um, that's what we see. Montavious. He's sitting there uh, eating and drinking from Crystal, the place named Crystals. Mm -hmm. And he is actually looking at, I think the last scene, he was looking online for like the money transfers. Yes, he was looking online for the money transfers and it showed that there was someone named Crystal so-and-so that had just put a money transfer in saying that um, they were going to come pick the money up. So apparently there's like a little hint there that he is possibly the person looking for his daughter and... All of them is somehow connected to that with the money transfer, so we don't know what's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. We get a hint as to what happened, but I ain't gonna spoil nothing. I ain't gonna, you know, if you wanna go into what you think gonna happen, sure. Go ahead. You'll view that next time on the next episode of P Valley. Yes. We enjoy you watching and we enjoy your comments. Subscribe down below. Please like, share. Yes. Of course, like I said, comment. We need Please let that us know. Yes. Extra. Extra. Let us know anything that we missed down below. Please keep the conversation yes. going. And we appreciate you tuning into our little recap about um, P Valley yep. episode 105 Belly. Belly. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you again next time.